Hi, welcome to Outdoor Shopping Network. The next product we're going to demonstrate for you is the Scout Guard SG 565F, and the F stands for flash. This will be the demonstration also for their IR model, which is the 560. Um, both in the same footprint model, um, there are some folks out here that, uh, that like the flash, and you, so I see some of the forums, there's a lot of talk both ways of IR versus the flash at night. I will say this, we tested this a couple weeks ago, or I'm sorry, not a, not a couple weeks ago, it was a week ago. This takes extremely clear colored pictures at night. Great camera. Um, and well, The other thing I might add too, the Scout Guards, if you look in the forums, are, they're, most of them uh, really rank high in the testings. One of the things I like about the Scout Guard, Scout Guard is they reach out, and it's at least, I mean, good 30 feet with no trouble. Um, this is a, uh, a 3 or a 5 megapixel camera, and you can set that using the remote control, which is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you. Um, some of the parts and pieces that come with this, when you get the, this out of the box, you get the TV cord or the TV cable that fits into the jack, which I'll show you. And I just threw down the, the uh, USB cord as well that fits in the bottom of this. And you also get a remote control. It comes with a strap, and I already attached it to the tree for the sake of time on the demonstration. Um, I'll open this up here real quickly and, uh, and explain the inside. It does have a place that you can lock it. Eight AA batteries. You can use AA or Nikon with this or NiCad with this. On the bottom of it, you have a external jack here. Can be used for external power. I'm sorry, a jack for external power. Um, you can actually uh, get a power pack and uh, be uh, have six volt external power. Then you have the TV out, the USB, and the on and off switches over here. Here is the SD card. Um, some of the cameras on the market today will not take the um, the high capacity. This one actually will take up to an eight gigabyte. Um, we threw a four gigabyte H, an SD HC high capacity card in there already. Uh, the thing is completely gasketed. What I want to show you now is I'm going to I'm going to tighten this up on the tree, and we're going to show you how to program this little camera. Okay. Okay. As I said, when you pull this out of the pack, it comes with a color. Uh, replay remote control comes with a USB end on it which I will plug into the bottom of the camera and then we'll set it up for you here as we go explain how this works okay as soon as that's plugged in you turn the switch on and you'll see the little red LED and you'll hear a couple beeps telling you that the remote is hooked up okay if you can zoom in here we're going to try to hold this still enough Okay, here's what we got so far. We are on the photo mode. That's the little camera there on the display. Five is for the five megapixels. There's a little icon there for the SD card is in place. This is the battery. Uh, tells you how much life in the battery. The circle T means it's a uh, it's uh, time stamped. The pictures that are be taken. Here's the date. The time is in military. We have how many pictures have been taken and how many pictures are left on that card, of, of the capacity of the card. Now here's what we're going to do. We're going to quickly run through this real quick. Here's the menu button. As you run through the menu button, you see setup, the mode and camera. We have the camera functionality right now with, uh, we have the camera functionality right now in, in this mode. Uh, you can also switch to video in this here. Um, as we get down through here, you may you may view the pictures on this, but you cannot view video on this on this remote. So as we uh, scroll down through here, we have format. If you want to format the card, format will mean it'll it'll take it off. Here's a shot button too. The shot on this little touchpad here means you you can delete all the pictures on the SD card from right there. As we scroll down here, image size it's five megapixel. Video size, it's 640 by 480 we have it set for. And at any time that you want to set or change that, you just select and go from there, 320 to 240 or what have you. And we're going to change that back. 640 to 480. Here's the clock set. We already set the clock, but you would just go into, uh, you would just scroll over, hit enter, and you can uh, capture number. 
this is a capture number of photos. We have it set for uh, two at, at each time. Each time the something comes by, it, it captures two. Now, if it's at night, the flash is going to flash only one time, so you're only going to get that uh, the uh, flash at one time. Will not take video at night. Um, only throughout the day because it has a single flash on it. As we scroll down through the menu, the video length, this will, this will allow you to set how long you want your video to, to uh, run once it uh, is triggered. Intervals, every 16 seconds it's like the delay between pictures. The sensitiv sensitivity level of the, of, the, uh, of the eye over here, we have it on high. Time stamp is on, as I showed you on the remote earlier. It is, it is on there with a little uh, T and it has circled on it. Timer switch. This is interesting. This is an interesting uh, feature to this. This is some of these cameras are used for security purposes, and you can actually set the timer for the time of day that you would like the camera to be in operation. For example, if you leave work at eight o'clock in the morning and, and you want to surveillance your home. From 8 to 5, you set the timer from 8 to 5, and it will only operate from the time you're on. It saves the batteries as well. It's a great little feature with this. Um, default set, and you can actually go right back to uh, the default setting uh, at any given time. Again, we're back to uh, we're back to the camera mode. So it's really quite easy. You can actually view view the, uh, view the uh, pictures that you're taking as well. Once you're done programming uh, the camera. You just take, and I. What I do is I switch. The, I switch it off. I pull it out. I turn it on. I close it up, and if you can see, there's a little red LED here to the light for about 10 seconds, and it's in live mode. And I already heard it take a picture. Just another product from the Outdoor Shopping Network. You can get them right here. It's the Scout Guard SG 565F for flash. Again, it's the same. Same demonstration, same footprint as the IR. Great little cameras, you can get them right here in the Outdoor Shopping Network. Thanks for watching.